Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. We are doing some cool places to visit when you visit the UK. And this is Theodora and Graham and we have Baby Brook. Baby Brook is half Dutch, half English. Obviously Graham is the English one, I'm more. the Dutch one. She's more English though. We are actually staying in the UK for Christmas. We didn't think we were because all of our stuff is, uh, Christmas stuff is in the Netherlands. Yes. But Theodora, well I put the tree up last night. I'm the tree and light guy and then Theodora is the one that does all the bows and all the tints. No, we don't have tints, well, that's old school, but ribbons. bows, ribbons. I did ribbons, because I was on a budget, but I've made budget. it work. Exactly. Made it work, made it work. So, um, yeah, we are about to go off with Brooke to show Portsmouth, the greatest city on the south coast, Why of course. Why is that, babe? Why is that? Because I'm from Portsmouth. Exactly. Yes, born and bred, and Brooke is now from here as well. It's going to be a fun day in Portsmouth. I love it as well. It's where our love story started. We have lived there for years, studied there. So we're going to show you around and hopefully give you some insider tips. So let's get going. Brooke, are you ready for a day out? Let's go, let's go. How cool is her outfit, guys? Where's Minnie? Minnie, Mickey. 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 Tesco's. Tesco's. Okay, guys, it's really windy here. So hopefully you can hear me, but we are at the uh, east end of Portsmouth. We can't get any further than we are right now. We've come into this like this spit, I suppose you'll call it. And there's loads of uh, boat yard here, loads of boats out in uh, the little harbour here. And over there is what we call Hailing Islands. And in the summer you can get a little ferry. Actually it's down there, I don't know if you can see it. There's a ferry that goes from this pontoon here all the way over there. And Hayden Island is really, really nice. So Hayden Island actually every year hosts a big kite surfing festival and Richard Branson has been there quite a few times. Right, we're going to carry on down the coastline because basically Portsmouth, I feel like it's all about the coastline. We start here in Eastney and then we're going to go along and end up towards Gun Wharf, big shopping Christmas um, shopping centre. And yeah, it's beautiful. In the summer, guys, the south coast of England is beautiful. But it's getting a little bit chilly. Today's a nice, nice day, but um, it is freezing, hence why I've got the Christmas power. Okay guys, we are now at Eastney Beach, kind of like the end of the beach. It's kind of the quiet end. And guys, if you walk all the way to the end end, then that is where the nudist beach is. So those nudists of you that like to, uh, you know, get a full body tan in the summer, I doubt there'll be any people down there now because it's like uh, six degrees right now. But uh, the sun is out, so you never know. So you'll find that a lot of the south coast have beaches with stones. Stones, the most painful thing to walk on, guys. It's horrendous. Um, but if you go down to Bournemouth and one island up from Hayden Island, they have um, snow, they don't have snow. They have sand, which is a lot better. But yeah, we have stones. So if you want to lay out, it's kind of like getting a massage at the same time. Theodora is just feeding Brooke in the van and we're going to take you a little bit further down where there's a lot more to do and see. So we have driven just a tiny bit from Eastney down here to South Parade Pier. Now the South Parade Pier has recently been renovated so it looks real fresh and you've got all sorts of things going on. We have um, some attractions. It couldn't be more British. Like even the lamppost and the little benches outside the wind by the beach, I just love it. I remember first coming here from Europe and I thought this couldn't get more English. And the pier does not disappoint. We have fish and chips. We have all sorts of food, cafes, um, you have an arcade proper sort of old school and it's just got such an old school day at the seaside feel and Graham always used to tell me the story that he would go right at the end of the pier and jump in which is obviously completely not allowed so he would have to like run from the um, officers in normal clothing so that they wouldn't get caught so they were always breaking it and jumping in quick tip if you are coming here to portsmouth and this area i would recommend going to the south sea beach cafe now we have had countless of dinners and especially breakfast like i think breakfast real nice obviously gorgeous view you're looking at the south parade pier while sitting toasty inside um it's just gorgeous really nice clean nice food and epic view. I am going to interrupt today's video to thank our sponsors NordVPN and if you head over to nordvpn.com forward slash babe 
you can get yourself a two year plan with one month free at a huge discount. So go ahead and check that out and make sure to use the code BABE. Now, if you're wondering what is a VPN and why do I need one? Well, a VPN is a virtual private network and it sounds very fancy, but what it does is essential. Every time you log onto the internet, no matter what device, you are essentially exposed and all your data is out in the open. You are completely vulnerable. Think about your bank cards, the details you got on there, the information you exchange online, it's all open and unprotected. Now by using NordVPN, you can choose one of the 5,100 servers across 60 countries to protect yourself. And what it does, it encrypts your data and protects you while you are online. One of the perks that we really enjoy is that you can set any of the 60 countries to encrypt your data, which means that you can access, for example, their offering on Netflix. So uh, we love watching Power, which you can watch in the UK, but you can't watch in the Netherlands. So if you set it to the UK, then you can access it. Equally, we're now in the UK and I've got some Dutch shows that I like to watch. I obviously set my VPN to the Netherlands and I can still enjoy my shows. So that on top of being safe is an extra bonus. So make sure to head over to nordvpn.com forward slash babe. You can get yourself a two year plan with one month free at a huge discount. So go ahead and check that out and make sure to use the coupon code babe. Now back to the video. Guys, it doesn't get more English than this. Cheesy chips, <laughs> curry sauce and a burger you just gotta love the english you gotta love the people and the seaside and portsmouth it's got so much history i'm just walking on to henry the castle southie castle you can hold events here i've seen weddings doesn't look like i can get into the museum guys because i actually wanted to show you the real life size of henry the eighth in the tudor days an average male was five foot five now he was six foot two which like is crazy for those days so the king was actually here when he watched the battle of the solent unfold and as you can see behind me he would have had an epic view obviously it was a win for the english um, but his beloved ship the mary rose who he helped to design especially he was into the armory she could carry so much armory it's unreal he watched her sink right here in the Solent. Now, she ended up laying there for another 437 years. Um, eventually they dug her up and you can actually view her in the Dockyard Museum. Phenomenal museum, you got the HMS Victory and so many ships, but the Mary Rose is there as well. If you're wondering what land that is behind us, across in the Solent, that's actually the Isle of Wight. Now, if you want to get to the Isle of Wight, I have an amazing suggestion for you. We're going to walk there now. Okay, guys, so Theodora's saying to get over to the Isle of Wight, you take the hovercraft. I think this is the only commercial hovercraft in, in the, the world. world. And it's just left. We just, we were just too late to, uh, to film it. Um, so it is the quickest way to get from the mainland to the Isle of Wight, 10 minutes only. It holds 130 people in there. It goes whatever weather. And why? Because it is more like a airplane than a boat. It doesn't, it, it's not a boat. It hovers, boat. It hovers. If you want to take your car to the Isle of Wight, you get one of the, um, these ferries called the White Link. Yeah. It takes you over. And Portsmouth is a massive harbour. So if you want to get to France or Spain, then you've got p &O ferries and they can take you all the way over to Europe. Yeah. Which is awesome. And uh, we have had many a date here <laughs> at the fun fair on Clarence Pier. So if you've got kids and stuff, there's arcades there, there's a little fun fair. In the winter, they like, kind of close it down. It's got two roller coasters, baby. It's, I know. It's I, I, I used to go on that roller. My, my <laughs> sister used to go out, like, used to date the guy who was working it. So I used to be able to go on and on and on and on. No like, way. For free. Yeah, I was loving oh it. Oh my God. I was loving it. And then, Where are we heading next? Oh, and you then this green area, which you can see here, we literally um, lift just there, guys. We lift, huh? we lift around the corner. Um, in the summer, it's beautiful because when it's hot weather, you can come out here, lay, jump into the sea. And the amount of barbecues, but that green in the summer, it's, it's chock a block, block, isn't it? Where um, are we heading next, babe? What going, else? We're going to go to one more spot before we go to the Christmas market. We're going to go to Old Portsmouth. Okay, so we're here at the Hot Walls, which is in Old Portsmouth, and it's beautiful down here. So, Old Portsmouth is probably my favourite part of Portsmouth. If you want to go on a little pub crawl, you've got to start in Old Portsmouth because there's loads of beautiful pubs and most of them have got like sea views. 
So I'm going to take you up to the Round Tower where I used to do something very naughty as a child. Well, I should say as a teenager. Up the stairs we go. Here we are guys, top of the Round Tower, which basically gives you an awesome view of the harbour and as a kid, we basically used to jump off here into the water. There's loads of rocks down there now, so if you didn't know, you'd probably die, so don't do that. And this is a beautiful view we've got of Portsmouth and the harbour. And just behind there is Gunmouth Keys, which is where the Christmas market is. And that's where we're going next, and I'm out of breath because I just went upstairs. How beautiful is it here, guys? Absolutely cracking. Okay, let's go back down. Okay, so in Old Portsmouth, there's also a place called the Spice Island, and Theodore's got some finest facts. So that's about. Well, actually, it's not even called Spice Island. It is called Portsmouth Point. I know, but in the mouth of the Pompey people, it's called Spice Island. Now you wonder why. Um, there's two versions. The nice version is that the spices back in the day were unloaded here because obviously the huge harbour. Yeah. But in fact, it wasn't that. It was more a spice of your life kind of vibe. Now, the point was actually outside the city boundaries of Portsmouth, which meant that everything could stay open all day and all night. Now, the ladies of the night like to entertain here and the boys like to go and play here. Hence why it's called a spice island. This is very spicy. I see. The Spinnaker Tower kind of looks like the Dubai, um, what do you call it? Uh, the big tower, you know, the old uh, seven star hotel. Isn't it? Yeah. It's put, it's, the Verge. That, the Spinnaker has put Portsmouth on the map because of that. Where the Spinnaker Tower is, that is Gunworth Keys, and that is where the Christmas market is. And it's basically all outlets of like good brand shops. Yeah. So it's cracking for buying clothes and all the rest of it. Yeah. So are we heading there now? Yeah, it's just about to get dark, so it's going to be perfect time for all the lights. Okay, we've made it to Gunwharf, one of our favourites, shopping outlets slash loads of restaurants, and they have a Christmas market on. All of a sudden, the temperature has dropped, lights are twinkling, and it's getting cosy. Uh, we've got Brooke out in the pram. We are so close to launching in the UK. Now, every time I go out, I get at least like I would say at least three, but usually like about five comments about how awesome and unique the pram is. So live in about a week's time, we're hoping, and I think it's gonna work. Like everyone seems to love it so much, and we got so many designs. Like any color you want, we have it. So <laughs> stay tuned for that. Where's the Brooke? Brooke away. Oh, you hello. haven't even said hello yet, have you? Oh, you're all nice and warm. Oh, he's got a little pink nose. <laughs> hey. hey. She is a beauty, isn't she, babe? She, guys, it hasn't been easy always because you know all the all the, the troubles. But she's doing amazing. She's so good. She is actually a good traveller, isn't she, babe? She's amazing. Also, for those who didn't know, we actually used to study here in Portsmouth, and our friends used to live in what we like to call here the lipstick building. Now, I was obviously doing my research today to find some juicy, finest facts for you guys. Turns out, which I never had known, the penthouse here in the Lipstick Tower is 4,000 square feet, which is like huge. Back in 2010, it was worth already five minutes because it's 4,000 square feet and it has 360 view. I've got to admit, guys, I've never seen Gunwolf Keys looking so festive. Lights everywhere, Christmas tree. Wow, it's actually beautiful. All right, this is what makes Gun Wharf really special because obviously we're on the water. It's beautiful. The sun's just gone down. It's been a beautiful day. And this is basically where the Spinnaker Tower is. The restaurant just behind us here. It's where me and Theodore had our first date. And all the love, all the love, all the love started. 15 years ago, 16, almost 16 years ago. What did you think of me, babe? Uh You're a nutball, babe. Absolute nutball. And here we have the Spinnaker Tower. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of a tour of uh, Portsmouth. There's more to see. There's so much, it's steeped in history. I think we've got one or two more videos left before Christmas. So let's see where we go in the UK. Brooke's getting tired, so we're gonna go feed her. And yeah, see you in the next video, guys. See you later. Goodbye.